let's say I had to stop working on this lesson and do something else for a while. Now I've come back and I'm going to continue uh, building my pen.io page. So I'm on my pen.io page, solvex.pen.io. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom where it says edit page. I'm going to click edit page. Please enter your password to continue. I type in my password and click log in. So once I log in, now I'm just going to see the HTML. I'm not going to see my video anymore. Now I want to embed uh, my Google form that I want the students to fill out. So I'm going to go to Google Drive, and the easiest way to find my Google form is just to search for it up here. So I'm going to type solve for X, and here's a Google form called reflect on solve for X. So when I see this in Google Drive, I'm seeing it in spreadsheet form. If I want to see the live form, I can go up to the menu bar here in the form and click form, go to live form. And then I see the form my students will see. But I want to work in the spreadsheet form for right now. So I'm going to click on form, embed form and web page. And it says embed, paste this into your blog or website. So it's already highlighted, so I can just right click on it and left click copy. And now I'll close it. Now I'll close the live form. Now I go back to my pen.io page. I click just to put my cursor somewhere. I'm going to press enter a couple times to go down a couple lines. And now I'm going to right click and left click paste. And now I've pasted the code for my form, for my Google form. I click Update. So here's my solve for X pen.io page. Here's my screencast. If I scroll down a little bit, I see the Reflect on Solve for X Google form. 